These two shootings are rattling the De Delano community. I spoke to three women today who are all walking away from this weekend in shock. His sister says he was full of love. He never left the house without telling us that he loved us. His friend says his happiness was contagious. His smile, like, he was, was a very smiling. happy person. Yeah, like, always. He had the beautiful teeth. They both agree on this also. He liked to go out to eat. He loved chilies. <laughs> This is how Crystal Lopez and Anna Karen Pena will remember Anthony Gutierrez. Police say he was shot in Delano Saturday night. At first, they say they were able to revive him and he was taken to the hospital. But he remained on life support until Tuesday morning. When his life ended, four more were saved. Initially, when they asked her if, you know, they wanted, if he was a good candidate and if, you know, if they wanted her to donate his organs, she automatically said no. She was like, no, you know. But then something told her, like, do it. You know, so she's like, yes, she told him yes. Gutierrez's pancreas, kidneys, and liver were donated. The women say they look forward to getting to meet the recipients who now have a piece of their loved one. But Gutierrez's death was not the only shooting to rock the Delano community this weekend. Delano police say 20-year-old David Ramirez was also shot late Monday night. A woman tells 23ABC she heard the shots and saw him on the ground outside of her home. She was struggling to breathe. So she and another woman checked his pulse. I wanted to help, but I couldn't help, so I felt helpless. But she and that other woman couldn't help. I never seen anyone die in front of me, so it was like the first time I ever seen someone die in front of me. Like, got, I got shot, so for me it was more like, I wasn't shocked. With the two shootings close to home, this Delano resident is wary. Do you feel safe here? No, not really. But, you know, there's no, we have to, like, kind of deal with it. <laughs> and these women feel empty, hoping they could have the chance to say one last thing to their brother and friend. But I love him and I miss him. <laughs> that I wish he was here. He would just show up. I would always tell him to come home, come home, and he never came home. There is a GoFundMe set up for Anthony Gutierrez's memorial service. The link to that page is posted on our website, turn to 23com Reporting live in studio, Leah Pizzetti, 23ABC. Okay, Leah, thank you for that.